Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from beautiful, cloudy San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. Hope you guys are fired up and ready for another fantastic day today. I hope you're shocked at what you're seeing, which is a live video on the personal page, and here's why. I failed. Woohoo! What does this mean? I failed. Woohoo! And why am I so excited? about failing. Well, I drink the Kool-Aid that I serve. That's the authenticity and integrity of the coaching program. And I want you to understand something very clearly, that the way you interpret failure will have the greatest impact on whether or not you take action. My coach said to me last week, and I loved it, he said, ignorance on fire will always beat knowledge on ice. It goes along with when people say, you know, knowledge is power. Knowledge is not power. You can graduate MIT with a PhD and then go move into your parents' house and live in the basement and play video games all day for 30 years and your knowledge means nothing. Your knowledge is not power. Your knowledge is potential power. Potential power. So, I failed. Woohoo! Why am I so excited about failing? I'm glad you asked. Because failure, as an acronym, can mean something new. First attempt in learning. You see, failure, as Zig Ziglar says, is an event. It's not a person. You see, my effort failed. I did not. And I am not a failure. I took massive action. I took massive action. Taking massive action is the critical element to any type of growth and development. And let me give you the example of where I failed. So in looking to go national with the speaking that I'll start uh, this uh, Thursday in El Paso and then in San Antonio the following week and then we'll just see what the schedule allows to continue to travel and speak. We are going to be reaching a larger audience of individuals I've never met before. So the thought was, how do I keep my private Facebook private for only people that I know and not invite them in? And the idea was to create the public figure page for Voice of One Coaching, W. We won, y'all. Voice of One. And we thought, brilliant, we'll just run all of our live videos, as you know, because this is what I have communicated to you, my faithful friends, and people who enjoy the things that I say in the morning, hopefully that they encourage and inspire you and push you out of your comfort zone. Hopefully many of you, I know many, have started businesses. I even know a couple who started churches who were worship leaders or did different things and decided, I'm going to go for it because of the inspiration that they received. So it's a very big deal to me. Well, guys, get Guess what? That attempt failed. It did not work. We went from several hundred people having the opportunity to view this to very few because of some complications with people having to go into their computer, go into their phone, unlock it, go into, I don't even know how to do it. I don't even know. And, and one of my assistants on the coaching team who's part of technology attempted to explain it to me. I didn't get it. I was like, let's not do that. So what did I do? We failed. Woohoo! We failed. What does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? That means we moved forward aggressively. Ignorance on fire beating knowledge on ice. We moved forward aggressively. And do you know why most people wouldn't have? Well, but what will the people who watch my videos say? Oh my God, I'm going to have to go back and say that plan didn't work. <laughs> I'm sorry, I said, you have to do live videos on voice of one. And I'm so embarrassed. No, 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 no. Because you see, I'm, I'm a big boy. Gray hair. I'm a big boy. Wrinkles. I'm a big boy. It's all right. I live what I teach. I live what I teach spiritually. I live what I teach financially. I live what I teach family-wise. I live what I teach marriage-wise. I live what I teach physically. I live what I teach emotionally. I live what I teach intellectually. I live what I teach in career development and personal growth. I live what I teach to have the credibility to speak what I speak in the hopes that for many of you, more is caught than is taught and you will pick it up and it will be dropped into your spirit and when the time is right, the good Lord will pull it up and it'll create a harvest for you and you'll be blessed. This is what I hope for every day, which is why these are free videos every day. I'm sowing the seed and following my hero's advice that I can have anything in life I want if I help enough other people get what they want and I have not yet met one person who has said to me, Steve, 
I'm absolutely inspired to the gill. I'm motivated to the gill. I'm pumped to the gill. I'm overflowing with motivation and inspiration. I don't need any more. Never met him. So I'm making the wonderful assumption that being encouraged and inspired is helpful to you and encourages your heart and your spirit. And nothing brings me greater joy than to know that I've had an opportunity to make a difference in somebody's life, people I may never meet. So I failed. Woohoo! What does that mean? That means that we figured out what didn't work and then we came up with another solution. So you know what our solution is, plain and simple? Everybody who I've already taken in as friends on Facebook, on my personal account, will stay there. My live videos will go back to the mornings and stay here. And once the video is posted, we will simply transfer it over to Voice of One for these total strangers I'm about to meet and have never really gotten to know and who do not know me from anybody and they will get those videos just as you did, just not live. Oh, there's my baby girl. Is that you, sweetie Angela? I love you. I'm so proud of you, girl. My wife did an amazing video yesterday. If her friends check out her video, she talked about her journey um, going from fat to fabulous. I'm kidding. That's not what it's called. She dealt with a lot of stuff going on emotionally and with physical issues and an inner ear type of infection, uh, but still made it to the stage. Um, she failed. Woohoo! What do I mean by she failed? She wasn't able to follow her plan. She wasn't able to follow it exactly as her coach said. She wasn't able to do that because of physical limitations, yet she did not quit. She course corrected. I failed in switching over the live videos to Voice of One. Woohoo! I failed. And now I course corrected. So the encouragement, the encouragement that I want you to have today, that I hope you take away from this, is this. Remember what my coach told me last week. Ignorance on fire will always beat knowledge on ice. And yet, with a little bit of gray hair and a couple, two or three smiley wrinkles, the goal is to have knowledge on fire, or the highest call, wisdom on fire. Until that time, take the step. If you wait for the perfect circumstance to take action, you'll never take action because there is no perfect circumstance. Leadership is not the sense that you have the answer to everything. Leadership is simply making the decision to move forward and go for it, understanding that failure is feedback, nothing more, nothing less. First attempt in learning, failure is feedback. Failure is an event, not a person, as Zig Ziglar says. And when you take action, you learn and grow from that. I failed. Woohoo! I love it. I hope you go out and fail today.